Good evening, this is Tina. How are you doing? Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you the module is cached. Okay, let's give a demo for that. We're gonna continue working on this uh, exports and uh, module.exports, this one, because uh, uh, just modify a little bit. So here. I did, but I do like this one. Oh, like a, uh, like a, uh, what do I have here? A mic, a mic, okay, mic, okay. And then we go to app.js. So here, when I do this one, what should be changed? It won't work here, right? Why? Because we are exposed an object, not the class anymore. So here I will change it to be product one. Okay. And then I console.log product one.name. And now I do another one product one.name equals mark. Okay. And now I will do this one again. What's the value here? The value here should be what? Uh, M-I-C, right? Mic. And here should be mug. Right, let's run. Here, node.js. You will see mic and the mug. So now, let's demo, it's cached, okay? equals the thing again and now I will do console.log product2.name what's the value you are thinking of we should as our understanding probably we think it should be this mic right because we are required, we are using this one, but actually not. You will get mug. Okay, let me show you and explain. You will see mug. The reason for that is for this one, because in the same app.js in this module, we are requiring, we are required the product twice. For the second time, for the second require, it won't go through resolve load those. It will using the cached version. What's the cached version here? The cached version is a product one. So in this case, product one, product two will point to the same object. This is cached. So be Careful when you expose, don't expose like this one. Okay, you just expose the product class itself. The one I put it here is to for the demo purpose. Don't do like this one. This is bad. Okay, uh, this is bad. We should do is expose dot pro p r o d equals product. We should expose the function constructor, the class, not the product instance. So uh, here we have, we if we change to that one, then we have to change uh, uh, everything. What I want to do is uh, I will make a comment, okay. Uh, code when return new product, okay. This is bad. Testing code, testing code, testing code. Okay, I will make a comment here. So if you download, you have reference. This is the testing code when we turn pro, uh, when, uh, when, when this one. We do like this, when this one, and uh, this is this part. Okay, so we will do as before, uh, const 
now you get a product which is the class so you can create a new object like a require and here you will have what's the uh, uh, what's the I forgot okay product dot prod right and then you are freely to like a uh, uh, new a product uh, const equals new product right then you can give a name uh, hello okay and uh, you are you are free to change obviously you, got, you are free to change the uh, change the value like uh, uh, prod one dot uh, name equals uh, equals uh, word okay and uh, you can also require twice product two 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 okay we we can console dot log product two dot name okay in this case you want to see word because this is a new instance you will see hello right you will see hello okay so uh, don't do this way this way is bad for demo purpose do like this way okay and uh, for expose module expose depends on the scenario so if you only expose one product we don't do like this we just using module expose to equals but if you want to expose multiple things properly uh, this one is better because it doesn't need to write module expose module expose you can use expose dot something Okay, if you re, uh, export more more stuff. Okay, that's it for this video. Hope you understand the, the cached. Okay, the cached thing happened here. Okay, cached. Let me make a comment here. So if you want to um, practice, uh, you can download from the description. It has a source code link. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.